Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I want to go over a good way to keep things clean and easy to read, because when you get a thousand nodes, it starts to look ridiculous. Um, so let's go over a uh, quick thing to do. You can see this thing is just smooth movement. Um, I really don't like that. If you go to Preferences, you can check on this box that says Snap to Grid, and then just save that out, and now it will snap into place so that it's easy to place things. So the second thing that I want to go over and clean up is that you can actually name these individual nodes so that makes sense. I can change this name to say move speed. Now that is the move speed modifier of uh, this object. Well it's been the move speed modifier, it just ha now has a label that is easy to see and now I know exactly what that 0 0.1 is for. Another thing uh, to do is to do a comment. Um, you can do that by clicking this right here this button or holding down C and clicking and that will give you a comment block. This block you can surround things with so that it groups in a way uh, visually and you can also write in the comment. You could say main sphere movement and you can also write a sub comment which will be uh, white text inside of the comment uh, block here. So if I type uh, and something you see it appears. This will move the main sphere to the right. Now I know what this does. Now I have a second section here which is for the movement uh, or when the object enters into the uh, trigger to change its speed. So I will lay this out a little bit nicer here. Get these things all into place. And just lay these out a little bit better. Okay, good enough. So now I can add my comment, wrap it around, and say what this does. So slow uh, slows main of uh, sphere, and the comment will say this will slow down the movement of the sphere when when it enters and then returns to normal speed when it exits. Uh, so there we go, we have a nice layout. We can now quickly see um, what's going on in our scene. By the way, you can zoom by scrolling out scrolling in. There is a hotkeys uh, thing over here. If you click that it will give you a list of all the hotkeys that you can do inside of Uscript. Uh, some of my favorites are when I get lost I can just go ahead and press things. Uh, I can press home on my keyboard which um, is, there it is. So I can press home and it kinda goes back to center. Uh, if I get lost and I have no idea where anything is I can just hit home and get back to where I was going, or where I need to be. So um, that is a, a nice way to clean up and have things laid out for you to be able to use in Excel and uh, allow others to collaborate with you in a nice way and a nice layout. So with that, I bid you a good day.